Hey guys, Mike Linares here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Today we're talking all about dehydration, which occurs when free water loss exceeds free water intake in the body, which is not the same as hypovolemia, which is hypo meaning low, vol meaning volume, and emia meaning in the blood, a decrease of volume of circulating blood in the body. Now, technically, it's a little bit different, but the causes, the signs and symptoms, as well as the nursing interventions are very similar. Now, let's go over some causes of dehydration. Why does dehydration occur? Fluids can leave your body in many different ways. Basically, your body excretes fluids in different forms. First, let's talk about the two different kinds of fluid loss in the body. Now, we have sensible water loss, which is fluid loss we can measure, like vomiting, urination, or even diarrhea and also insensible water loss, which is water we cannot measure, like with respirations or profound sweating, also called diaphoresis. Now to remember this, we use our nifty acronym VPPS, and our other acronym is DRIED. As far as VPPS, we do vomiting, pooing, which is diarrhea, peeing, or excretion like urination, most commonly seen with patients on diuretics that drain water from the body and into the potty. Also from sweating, also called diaphoresis, usually from extreme conditions like heat exhaustion or even fever. We also use our acronym DRIED with our patients. So D for diuretics as mentioned before, but also diabetic ketone acidosis. Water leaves the body usually because of polyurea. The body's trying to pee out that high concentration of thick sugar inside the bloodstream. R is for restriction of fluid intake normally when patients don't take in enough fluids. Now it's usually with our elderly populations who don't drink enough water and don't even have enough muscle mass to hold on the water that they do intake. I is for increased ventilation, also called hyperventilation. E is for excessive sweating, also called diaphoresis. Then D for diabetes insipidus, which I call die ADH, die, die. die. All right, guys, thanks for watching only one part in our full video here at SimpleNursing.com. If you guys click the link right here, you can get access to our full course as well as our new quiz bank, which is really nifty. And also, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel right here. Last but definitely not least, a big thank you to our script team and nursing family who helped us put together all these nifty videos.